When we were just the basics on professional wrestling, when you left the garden, you still got a big bang for your buck. And back and when I was there, I think the garden tickets in the garden were uh, three, four, and five, and six dollars for ringside six, or something. Seven dollars for ringside, yeah, that's right. something like that that's there. Right. And boy, you got a lot of bang for your buck out of that. And a lot of the, a lot of the little, uh, <laughs> a, a lot of the fans were getting more than the bang for their buck. We were getting pieces of furniture thrown into the uh, to the ring the because yep. in the early day. There was hardly any security in, in Boston Garden. Uh, to be honest with you, Boston Garden in the early days, back in the 70s, for uh, probably a period of maybe a year and a half, it was the worst place in the world to wrestle because uh, you're worried about getting injured. It wasn't the wrestling. It was the fans that were coming out. And that, boy, I'll tell you, there was little nips. if if. 20 little nips didn't go flying by, you'd say something's wrong. <laughs> you know? Then you got pint bottles, and you got, at the time they had the wooden arm tree, the old chairs up in the garden. They'd be breaking them off the seats, and they'd come flying out of nowhere. But there was no security in the garden back then. And I can remember standing there watching Stan the Man Stasiak and Pedro Morales, who was the champ at the time, not Morales, Pedro. Uh, it was Pedro Morales, you're right. Pedro Morales, Morales yep, yeah. it was Pedro, yep. Uh, who was the champion at the time, and they were going at it left and right, and boom, 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 and then Stan's walking around, and he's got the great hot punch, you know, boom, you know, and he's going around going like this. Then all of a sudden, you see all this stuff coming flying at him. <laughs> and he sees it, but nobody, <clears throat> Out of all that stuff, you could see this shiny thing come, come flying down from up above. It was actually a dot. Somebody threw a dot and nailed him right in the thigh. Oh. Nailed him right in the thigh. So they finally ended the match real quick after that. Yeah. And then all the boys were getting really BS because there was too much of this stuff going on at Boston God. So McMahon Sr. I think, I'm not sure if anybody remember, maybe I was hallucinating, but I think they were like for two months, not, uh, that's only like two shows, they had a green net come it was down. A, it was a ship net over the top, so you, yeah, nothing could they come had through and hit the rest of the Because there was so many bottles. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad, so I'm glad you guys yeah, backed Don me Leo up Jonathan on that. against Bruno San Martino, same I've thing. I've said they that the story thing. before, yeah, and nobody can remember it, you know? Yep. They had the green net come down. It was exactly and, right. And I'll bought to, to stop all the bottles and everything. It was full but of that, into the that didn't, there was a little bastard out there. And I don't, I don't know, what, what camera's on? They can't, I don't know you're out there, you little bastard. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> you're in your, you must be in your 30s by now, whoever you are. And he used to sit down there at ringside. And he had an elastic band, oh. but he had a real heavy elastic band, whoever he was, and paper clips. Oh. Oh, he would take them, and you'd be standing there, you know? And we're going, wow, wow, what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell? Jesus Christ. And then bang, bang again. <laughs> and then you go over to the good guy. The good guy would say, hey, screw, don't stand next to me. <laughs> I don't want to get hit by them freaking things. And, you, and you're looking all over. You're looking. You're saying, where is this old bastard? He's out there somewhere. <laughs> oh, he, That's a new one. I don't oh, he, right he nailed yeah. us. Oh, so bad. So bad. He I remember the green nut. I remember and then that. when you come out of, coming out of the ring, going in and out of the ring at Boston God, this is the early days now, before, before uh, everything got taken care of. Well, we had that narrow corridor. If you're a baby face, a good guy, Jesus, the crowd love you, you know? You come out there, the, the heels, the bad guys, they're swinging at you, they're pounding it, throwing anything. They got the umbrellas, they're trying to nail you, nail you with the umbrella. Oh, my God. And then on the way back, the beers they're throwing at you, everything else there, coming back, being a bad guy. But they finally, I will say that, after like the second show, uh, McMahon did get the security, and the security finally straightened out the thing because we never, uh, never had that at any of the major shows. 
The only other bad place was uh, Worcester. Uh, uh, it was uh, not, the, not the new place. The it was The auditorium. The Worcester auditorium. A beautiful auditorium, really. A great place to go watch a match because even if you're up on the balcony, you're right there in the ring, you know. Fantastic and a beautiful auditorium. And they well, ran there quite often, too. Yeah, uh, once a week. That was one of the once a week places there, the auditorium, Worcester Auditorium. But that little bastard with the clips, he was there. And then <laughs> there was another nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He was hitting all the boys. But <clears throat> there was another nut. Ken Patera was in the ring. Uh, and Patera had his back. See, we, we could go up and watch up in the stage there because the curtain and nobody could see us. So Patera had his back turned to the crowd. And all of a sudden, up in the balcony, some, some, somebody took a chair and it just kept turning and turning, going up. And everybody seen the chair and everyone, we were even at the, at the stage now. We open up and we're screaming, Patera, Patera. And Patera turns around and just as he turns around, the damn chair hits, the leg of the chair hit him right in the mouth, knocked out all his teeth, all, all his teeth in the front. Oh, so, you know, there are moments that, the, uh, that is, is a very dangerous. The World Wrestling Federation was live at the Murphy Center in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Friday, February the 8th, 1991, in the opening contest, the Mountie beat Jim Powers. British Bulldog Davey Boy Smith with the win over Dino Bravo. The Nasty Boys defeated the Bushwhackers. The Undertaker victorious over Tugboat. Hacksaw Jim Duggan beat General Adnan. The Rockers with the win over Demolition Smash and Boris Zukov, who replaced Crush. Rowdy Roddy Piper defeated Bobby the Brain Heenan, who replaced Intercontinental Champion Mr. Perfect, in just 20 seconds. And in the main event, the WWF World Champion Sergeant Slaughter, who replaced Randy Savage, retained the title over the Ultimate Warrior in a steel cage match. If you were in Murfreesboro Live, share your memories in the comments section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and in our acclaimed Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Inside Us at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT NXT and AEW join rotating legends on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay per view, watch alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times. Join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.